Hey there everyone, Kaiseri here, and welcome back to another episode on the world of Odium. Uh, we're going to start this episode off, I'm going to show you what I did down here. Uh, like I said in the last episode, I went ahead and detailed out the floor and made uh, the whole area traversable. So like right here, you know, we've got a, you know, a, a fence post under there, um, or one of these walls. And same with right here. So all of this is traversable uh, without jumping. Uh, I did do a little bit of ceiling work up in this corner and brought the dirt out just a little bit. But other than that, uh, I haven't really done much with the walls. It, on occasion here and there, I went up on the walls a little bit, as you can see right there. Uh, some cobblestone right there. Uh, today we are going to do uh, the walls and the ceiling in this main room. Uh, I also, if you notice, I left the oars in place. I do actually think I like them there. Uh, the detail that they give to the area I think is really kind of neat. Especially, I love that up there. So if it all looks like that, then we'll be good. Uh, what I am going to do as well, though, is actually leave... Uh, this space right here, let's see, let's break this out. So this space in here, oops, there we go, <laughs> right there, as well as, uh, just because it's kind of got a natural little opening right there, as well as this space right here, open. Uh, or not open. I'm actually going to dig them out just a little bit. And these two spots are going to be uh, little rooms, I suppose. Uh, they are going to have like maybe a bed, um, a little desk, maybe a, a cauldron, something like that. So those spots I'm going to avoid uh, when we do the walls and the ceilings. What I'm thinking is that down here under the tree, uh, somebody would live here. Um, and they would live in, in those spots. And this is sort of going to be like their, their little grotto area. And this would be the people who are uh, charged with looking after the tree and taking care of it. And... Uh, you know, maintaining it, making sure that it uh, doesn't die or anything, um, and for having having them live almost underneath it just seems a little fitting. Um, now their their environment down here is very stone, but if this was a natural cave, uh, it would make sense that they would go ahead and use existing spaces within the cave. Of, I think for living spaces uh, and we might do some more of those often these two little tunnels over here but I don't think we're gonna work on that today uh, what we're gonna do is the ceiling and the walls and I think that the best way to do those is going to be in a time lapse. Uh, it's been a little while since I've done an Odium time lapse, and I think that it is about time. So, without any further ado, uh, I'll go ahead and get it started. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll see you on the other side.
Hey everybody and welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Uh, I am really liking how the ceiling came out. Uh, there's a couple of things I still need to do, like some leaves up there. I had to go and collect some more. And I do want to work some more wood in here, I think. Yeah, wood and leaves is, is what it really needs, but I do really... Hello. I do really like how uh, how this all came out, and I just I'm loving this ceiling. I did toss some some uh, some wood up there as well, which I may do around in all of some of the really really high spots, which is like it's still sort of part of the tree in a way. Uh, while I did this, we ended up with four of of the rooms that I was talking about. So we've got one there. One there, uh, one right there, and let's see, uh, one right there. And I want to go ahead and do just a little bit of furnishing in these rooms. Uh, I did start with this one just a smidge. I put a, a light all the way up there. But what I want to do is just kind of come in here and do the same thing we did out out there uh, just on a significantly smaller scale so we'll put that there 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 maybe you get some more of these in here there we go let's break this up just a little bit more okay uh, nope oh come on <laughs> And let's grab some slabs also, and we'll put some of those, let's see, right here we can put a piece of gravel, uh, which I actually did quite a bit out here. So in a lot of the spots where there's slabs or things that could support gravel, there's one right there. I put gravel up above those slabs and mixed it in with the cobblestone texture, which gives it, I mean, you don't really notice it at first glance, but it does give it texture variation, which I really like. Actually, I could probably put some right in there, too. Uh, there's another one right there, and I could put one right there also. Uh, and I really like just that little bit of detail uh, that it gives the the area and the space even if it's not you know a full block that you can see that's been made gravel and I think we might actually do it here also we'll put one there and one there let's see nope there we go all right and I want to take some of the cobblestone and uh, bring it down just a little bit here. Let's see. Let's push that back one more. And I think maybe we'll do another piece of gravel right there. And let's see, like so. Let's go ahead and detail some of this out just a little bit, not with a sword. Okay. Hmm. Push this in just a little bit. Give it some shape in here. Let's do one more on that one. And let's do this with a... You know what? I do not have any andesite. Let's go grab some real quick here. And we'll put a little vein of uh, andesite. I might have put it away, I guess. <laughs> I thought I kept a little bit of everything that I needed, but maybe not. I think it's in here. Yep. Okay. So we'll grab just this little bit of andesite and toss some of it over there in that corner. Let's see... I almost feel like I want to bring, ooh, right there, we could put some wood, and right there, that would be good, okay. 
Uh, where was I going to put this? Right here. So, let's maybe try to do right here. Do I still have any? I don't. Let's do... Uh, hmm. Yeah, let's toss a couple of pieces of cobblestone in there. And we'll bring it down like so. Okay. And then I think uh, over here, I want to try to hide some lighting. Let's put it that way so it's harder to see. And grab our leaves. And we'll bring these guys up. Let's see. Um, can we wrap this around the other side? Like so, maybe? Just a little bit. I think that works. Bring that down here. There we go. <coughs> now we've got a nice little bush in here. And let's put some, I don't think I have any carpet on me, uh, but we can definitely put, uh oh, I can't get out. There we go. Okay. So we can definitely put, uh, you know, our traditional, actually let's just put a piece of glowstone down there. And, oh, I do have it. Look at that. Some gray carpet on top of that. And we'll just do some of that. And uh, we do need to detail out the floor just a little bit so it's not quite so plain. Here we go. Let's put some here. And grab some gravel. Do we have any of that gravel coming down? We do not. Let's bring it right. Let's do it right here. And then we'll bring it into the floor as well. Oh, there is a piece right there. So that'll work very well. And then perhaps uh We'll do just a smidge of andesite over Um. What? I didn't do that. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Let's put one here, and you know, oh, I did do that. What am I doing? There we go. Okay, because that's coming through there. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, so what else I want to do here is grab some of our colors, uh, some nice dark browns uh, with a little bit of... Uh, dark gray actually is what I decided to do with the beds and I think we'll put a little bed in here so right there because they need to sleep and oh it's nighttime we'll let it go ahead and there we go and I think right over here mm, yeah because we've got that carpet there so we'll put it right here perhaps uh, do we want it directly across from the bed so right here, uh, we're going to put a little sort of, uh, no, this room is not very big, a little sort of table, I guess you could say. Um, yeah, almost like a, like a work area, sort of. So just like the, um, you know, the carpets that we have out in the main room out there. 
um, you know, they would sit on the carpet here and do their work and not necessarily your traditional, you know, uh, table. So like that with a thing on top. And I kind of like the idea of that. Uh, now what we need to do is do this uh, really simple design in the other three rooms. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this design in the other three rooms here. I'm going to do this one. Uh, they're all a little bit different shaped. And this room over here, which I might save this one and do something else with this. I'm not sure. As well as, where's the last one? One, oh, no, not that one. This one, right here. This one over here needs just a little bit of, uh, like a bed and, and a workplace and all that kind of stuff as well. So we'll go ahead, I'll do that. And once I get done with that, I will bring you guys on back. Hey there everybody, I am back and I finished up the other rooms. Uh, I think we'll do this one, f no that's not a room, this one first. Uh, it's got the same setup, a little bed, uh, a desk, some leaves, uh, we've got some exposed ores which I really like, a uh, little bit more stone in this area which uh, you know I do, I do kind of like uh, having it have just a little bit more natural stone in here. Let's do that. Yeah, I like that. And so that's, that's one of them. And then we've got another little room over here. Same setup again. I gave this one um, some little, like, I don't know, side tables, I guess you could say, or something. Uh, some leaves, another desk. This one's only too wide. And then over in, hello, in this one, uh, I did a little sort of like a meeting room setup, I guess you could say. So there could be multiple people sitting here all around a, a central table. And uh, just a little bit of extra bench seating. Again, we've got some ores poking out, a lot of natural stone with a cobble built into it, tossed in a little bit of gravel. Uh, use the gray carpets again. In, in all the rooms to cover up lighting, uh, just to continue the theme that we've got going on. See, there's one under there. Uh, I think there's one under there as well. And uh, with that, uh, with the exception of these two caves over here, right there, right there, and then the one really deep cave, which I'm gonna do something a little special in, I think, over there, uh, this cave is actually done. Uh, I'm really, I haven't gone back in and finished detailing out some of the, the wood and the roof yet, but I'll do that off camera. Uh, you can see what it's going to look like here. And I really, really like the way that all of this, oh, I'm so full, <laughs> the way that all of this came out and how it looks and the way that, uh, you know, the room turned out. Let's see. I may toss some grass in here as well at some point, but I don't think there's enough dirt on the ground anywhere. Maybe right there. Yeah, uh, I might do that. I haven't decided. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, aside from just little tiny finishing touches, um, this main room, this main cave is done. And I, I love the ceiling and the way that it the way that it came out and how it looks with all the uh, stalactites. Which one is it? Is it stalactites or stalagmites? I, I don't know. Uh, the the rock formations <laughs> hanging down from the ceiling with the leaves and the vines. Uh, there are actually no vines, but that's what I'm thinking it would be is like vines or moss uh, growing around even pieces of, you know, the tree. Because even underground, um, you know, if there's enough light, I suppose stuff could grow, right? Might not grow great, but 
it's okay. Uh, so with this main room done, uh, I'm actually going to call this episode good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about this room. And if you've got any suggestions for improvements or anything, you know, we could change or tweak just a little bit. But for now, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a rest. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. Bye bye.